this 1364 transfer punch uh, fits really well into the uh, threaded T-nuts. So I'm just going to transfer my marks like that. Well, those are awful close to the edge. That's one drawback. But it's still worth a try. I'm gonna I'm gonna drill these out, countersink them, and just see how it works. Well, that would be fantastic. Let me just check a quick uh, or square. Right on the money. Love it. Okay, here's a, a lesson that I learned uh, the hard way, I guess. I ran the, the both sides across the joiner, this one to flush it up. No big deal there. Then I ran this side, the, the uh, bottom side, one time and uh, flushed it and squared it to this, this face here. But that opened up that mouth opening. Now I've got a good uh, 16th or better, maybe uh, 3 30 seconds of an inch. So it's a little bit bigger than I would want, but we'll see how it works when I get done with it. So that's a, a lesson learned the hard way there. So I think next time I do make the, my other plane, I will close that up. Uh, nice and tight and then I can run it across the joiner and that, that will open it up. Alright, I got the cap uh, piece for my plane that I need to cut a 30 degree bevel on the um, throat opening side of it. So uh, the finished dimension is three and a half uh, but this one is a bit longer than that. Now let's see here. This is about four and an eighth, which is good because there'd be no way I'd want to hold this freehand and push it through here. There's just barely enough uh, lip on my throat plate to support it, but I'm going to do it this way with a with a with a, a guide fence up here on top of my uh, on top of my fence, hand clamped to it. Uh, it's resting on the on the saw tabletop, but this will prevent anything. This will prevent it from being, you know, caught and and uh, tipped down into the blade. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to keep it tight to the fence and push it through. Let this hold it uh, this way. I'm going to leave this loose for now. Uh, you know, as you tighten it, it's going to push up against that anyway. But I'm going to uh, check the fit before I uh, put a little epoxy on that maybe or tighten it up. But looks good. So well, incidentally, I made this out of three pieces of eighth inch oak. I laminated it to give it a little bit more strength I think that that way might not have made any difference but that's what I did.